Thank you very much, Professor. Well, as the professor indicated, we are now moving on to a very special moment. It's the official launch of the publication to coincide with the conference, uh, Guidelines on Environmental Management Accounting for Sri Lankan Industries. And of course, uh, this publication is another pioneering initiative of CMA to provide guidance for the Sri Lankan industry professionals to embrace sustainability in their core business operations. Ladies and gentlemen, the authors of this book are Mr. Nuan Gunaratna and uh, Ms. Ajani Ranasinghe. They are lecturers of the Department of Accounting, University of Sri Jayavardhanapura, and their assistant author is Mr. Sankar Peris, who is also a product of the same department. Well, the CMA would like to thank them for their volunteer effort, and I think it's very fitting that we put our hands together and give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Well, just before we officially launch this publication, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Nuan Gunaratna to speak a few words. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Nuan Gunaratna. Good evening, the members of the head table, distinguished invitees, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, uh, we had a real challenge in writing this uh, guidelines document within two months, a period of short time. Well, two months is a short time because of the when you look at the extent of work and the research uh, that actually went into this publication. But right now, I'm having a great challenge that is to have put this in seven minutes time and that's the time given for me. So taking that challenge, let me move forward. Probably you might think environmental management accounting, is this relevant for me? You know, this looks a little uh, technical and this little unfamiliar and is this relevant for me? So before I answer your question, let me ask a simple question. Do you think that the rising cost of energy is something that you need to manage in your organization? So do you think that the cost of water, the cost of waste is something that you need to take care of? And do you think that the rising cost of material is something that you need to manage? So if the answer is yes for any of these questions, this book has been or the publication has been written for you. So let me quickly present you the overview of this publication. This publication has uh, six chapters. So in the first chapter, we have introduced, we have uh, given the introduction as to why environment is important irrespective of your background, irrespective of whether you are from the manufacturing sector, public sector, or whether you are working for the <coughs> private sector, or whether you are from the service sector, or even the whether you are an accountant or an unaccountant. So we have highlighted the importance of environment for why it is important for anyone. Then in the second chapter, we have given this uh, whole concept of the novel concept of environmental management accounting. In fact, this is an accounting tool which will support you in your decision-making process. So this is, uh, this is actually not broken science and this is something that you already engage in. And I'm sure that some of you are already are engaged in this uh, practice. Just to give you a brief understanding, in your organization you might decide as a means of saving energy to change your lighting system to a LED system. So in that case, you will have to do an analysis. You will have to do an investment appraisal. So in that case, you will calculate the amount of electricity units which you can save if you switch over to LED. So that is actually the physical side of what we call this environmental management accounting. Then, in order to get the real understanding, you will assign a financial value for that. Then you get the monetary environmental management accounting. So that we can see this environmental management accounting is actually a combination of physical as well as monetary combinations. So once you get the financial side, once you get the financial or monetary environmental management accounting, you will do an investment appraisal, maybe a payback calculation before you make the decision. So that EMA is actually a decision-making tool that supports your various environmental management accounting strategies in your organization. So that if you want to make decisions with regard to the environment, you need to have a thorough understanding on the cost. And this is the environmental cost analysis because the traditional cost analysis which you are known to, that is a variable cost, fixed cost, or direct or indirect will not be relevant here because this is a different domain. Therefore, we have presented the environmental cost analysis frameworks for you, are, for you to understand 
how to analyze, you know, the, before you make the decisions, how to understand the cost implications. So once these cost implications are identified, you can uh, start applying various environmental management accounting tools and the techniques. As I said, this is a novel concept which is being evolving day by day, so that there are numerous techniques, but here we have presented few techniques that will be really relevant for the Sri Lankan industries. For example, accounting for energy, accounting for material, then again accounting for waste, then also environmental capital budgeting, then life costing with environmental orientation, then environmental activity-based costing, then again sustainability balance scorecard. Then in chapter five, we have presented some uh, Sri Lankan case studies or EMA success stories. So these are actually based on the research findings. These are the companies that apply environmental management accounting in Sri Lanka. So we believe this chapter will really guide you on uh, the practical or the application side of EMA. Then in the last chapter, we have presented a comprehensive framework for the environmental management accounting adoption. So I know even right now, in many of your organizations, you have some practices to save energy, to reduce the amount of waste. But the issue is the fact is, these practices are isolated, they're fragmented. Therefore, there is a challenge to integrate them into your business philosophy, integrate them into your decision-making model. So that is why we have presented the framework for the adoption of EMA, where you can uh, map your organization and identify where your organization is situated. So this actually enables for you to understand the future areas for growth, the future areas for development. Yes, I think within the time frame, I com completed the uh, overview of this publication. And finally, let me present you a few uh, reflections. So we believe that this publication fulfills a long felt need of the Sri Lankan industry to have some guidance on environmental management or environmental management accounting. So elsewhere in the world, there have been many publications of this nature, but in Sri Lanka, this is going to be the first uh, publication. Then also we have written this uh, guidance document in a non-technical language because we know this document will be used by the accountants as well as the non-accountants, especially the engineers. Therefore, we have used a very simple language to uh, make it very simple. Also, this publication is, as mentioned previously, is a research, research finding. And uh, this is actually the effort of many parties who are engage in this process. Right. Yes, so coming back, uh, I was talking about this uh, collective effort. So that I was greatly supported by two authors, Ajani and Sanka. Then also uh, the support of the CMA Institute is really commendable, the governing council, then again the president and the staff, especially Ms. Sumudu helped us a lot. And also this is uh, a guidance document, by no means this is a standard. And we believe this publication will be a stepping stone for most of the Sri Lankan enterprises to have a long journey of sustainability, which is full of enthusiasm, excitement, and adventure. And this is a long journey because sometimes it's a journey that teaches you a lot about your destination. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nuwan Gunaratna, for giving us the detailed presentation on the publication. Well, just before we officially launch the publication, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to our chief guest this evening, the Honorable Senior Minister of Human Resources, Honorable Diu Gunasekar. I'm sure we can put our hands together, give him a round of applause and show appreciation. <laughs> can I please invite uh, the uh, chief guest to receive uh, this book, this publication, Guidelines on Environmental Management Accounting for Sri Lankan Industries. Everybody, let's have a round of applause. This is the official launch of the publication.